when you um, see a baby withdraw, never, ever, ever forget it. And with someone that has opiate use disorder, their withdrawal is going to look just like that, just like what a baby looks like when they're when they're going through that process. Um, the fentanyl crisis just keeps going. And I, I don't know, it's kind of one of those, it's like, are we, are we ever going to get a little bit better? So, so my daughter did go through some withdrawals. She did not need medication to help with those withdrawals, but she did stay in the hospital for seven days, which is um, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends five to seven days. Um, and I, I saw why they recommended that. She did amazing up until day four, and then she started to have a little bit of a harder time. I had no history of opiate use whatsoever none in my family. Uh, I had one cousin who went down the wrong path, but out of all of my family, one out of all of that, there was no reason for any of us to think, oh, don't give her opiates for a C-section. None of us thought that it was a red flag when I'm asking for another one every time. In the nursery, we have uh, Snoo, which is a fancy uh, bassinet that when baby cries, uh, starts wiggling, it will start swaying back and forth. It will do a womb noise, kind of a shushing noise to be like mommy's heartbeat. We have a bed where mom and dad, we really want them to stay. Uh, rocking chair in every room and then we have a fancy little uh, mama roo which is a swing that will do <laughs> its catalog of all swings. We have bassinet or uh, changing table in every room and then in every room we do have Narcan. Everyone that is uh, here at Hushabai, everyone um, gets educated on how to give Narcan. You never know when you're gonna have someone that struggles that you're going to need this. Even when we don't think anyone that we know does, um, we do. So families take that home with them, even families, adoptive families, it's like, please take it with you, you never know. Um, it's that prevalent. I'll go get them working. <laughs> Thank you. That started. Okay, so we do see fentanyl a lot. Uh, the moms are either using it or misusing the fentanyl. Um, the other th worrisome fact is that uh, there's a lot of other drugs or a lot of illicit drugs that are being laced with fentanyl. And the mother may or may not know that she's been taking this that has been laced with fentanyl. So we do the testing on the babies. So we send either the meconium or the baby's first poops for testing, but we also send the umbilical cord tissue um, for testing and that will specifically look for fentanyl uh, exposure and that's how we diagnose that yes fentanyl has been taken during the pregnancy.